Okay guys, I'm going to show you something that's really cool. I bought uh, a couple of alarms because I got such a good deal on this one. I ended up buying four of them, which I'm going to show you in the bag here. If you look inside my bag, there are four alarms in there. Well, three actually. I used one for this one. And if you could see how well this thing works, check this out. I've just set it up where that's where it's unlocked. And if you take a look, I'm going to show you. I'm going to put one on the alarm back there, and then on that one back there as well. There you go. Now, this thing is actually so cool, it took me five minutes to actually install. I have the seat on, just uh, as you know, like uh, it's underneath the seat, but I'm going to arm it. Here we go. That's armed. It also has two remotes. I got it literally for $13.50, I believe it was. But I'm going to show you both bites. I'm still working on them. I'm going to put my R one tank on there today as well but just take a look here we go the alarm is set check it out <laughs> that's all i do is tap it and i guess if i tap it again within the next couple of seconds let me just do that right there there you go check it out flashes all my lights and everything and i can set it off it's actually very loud my wife's pretty much annoyed with me but um this is it. I'm putting my uh, other plate uh, eliminator on that one. As you can see, I've done a couple different things on both of these. This one here has the uh, you know, like the double dual exhaust underneath. Um, changed it around a little bit for the both of them. They're both a little tiny bit different. Little subtle things besides the fact that that one's going to have the R3 tank. Um, I still haven't put the levers on this one yet, but I've got them. I'm going to do that in a minute. I have done it on this one. These are eight-way adjustables. Really cool. They go up, down. Oops, sorry about that. Let me turn off the alarm. There we go. Um, as you take a look, check it out. I did a couple other little things on this one too that I think you guys might like. Just tell me what you think. Um, when I did the blinkers on this one, this is not mine. This one is for someone else. So I did it so that it would flash like, like almost like a bus stop signal. You know, one and then the other, and then let me do the other side here. As you can see, pretty cool. But they're in sync if you go to the back, which is kind of cool. Um, and then I have these as daytime runners on the sides. Um, a lot of cool things I've done. I hope you guys like it. I'm going to turn this off. Um, I'm going to post this to YouTube as well. Um, absolutely love it. But if you take a look at the two bikes, they're very similar. Like I said, everything is pretty much the same. I mean, I've added this on right here on this one. This is my bike, by the way. This one here I've already sold. Um, but, uh, I mean, I hope you guys like it. I've done a lot of cool things to them, as you can see. Um, I'll post a couple other videos for you. This exhaust is a, as you can see underneath, it's just a straight pipe all the way through to the bottom. It doesn't curve around like the other one does, which I'll show you again. And then, of course, you've got your header up here in the front. So it's a full, full exhaust. And this one here, I just did the exact same thing. Full exhaust. goes all the way back. But it does this. It kind of loops around underneath. If you can see it, there you go. Instead of it being a straight pipe, it just loops around. There you go. You can see the difference here now. See, it's a street pipe. But I made the bikes both pretty much identical. Take a look. You guys will love them. They're beautiful. Hope you enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye.